AI apocalypse is here and the tech world is in full-blown panic mode. Companies are burning billions like there's no tomorrow. Meta, Microsoft, OpenAI, everyone's tripping over themselves to throw money at AI. We're in the middle of an AI gold rush. Mark Zuckerberg alone is buying 350,000 GPUs from Nvidia. Each one costs around $30,000. That's like 10.5 billion on shiny hot chips. To put that in perspective, that's more than the GDP of some small countries. Yeah, it's that much craze out there. And it's not just Zuck. Microsoft, the sugar daddy of OpenAI, is spending tens of billions on AI hardware. OpenAI is spending so much, they're thinking of building their own chips to cut costs. Analysts say if ChatGPT were as big as Google, it would cost nearly half a trillion dollars per year just to keep the hardware running. Yeah, half a trillion dollars. But here's the weird part. While all these tech giants are throwing themselves at Nvidia like desperate groupies, Apple is, well, nowhere to be seen. No big AI announcements, no billion dollar GPU shopping sprees. They didn't even mention AI at their last keynote. Apple's playing it silent, almost like they're pretending to lose this AI race on purpose. But why? Is Cook just out of touch? Or is there a master plan brewing at Apple HQ? Trust me, it's the latter, and it's genius. Let's get this straight. Apple's not stupid. In fact, they might be the smartest players in the game. While everyone else is shouting about AI from the rooftops, Apple is chilling with a smirk on their face, letting the others burn through their cash. They're like the calm kid in the back of the classroom who already knows the answers to the test. Here's what's really happening. Apple is playing the long game. They're not interested in making a big splash just yet. Instead, they're quietly buying up AI companies left and right, building their own AI models behind the scenes. They've developed their own AI model called Ajax, and even released an open source multimodal LLM named Ferret. They're not shouting about it because they don't need to. They're working on something big behind the scenes. But what could this big secret be? To understand Apple's strategy, we need to look at a major issue of current AI technology, latency. Latency is the biggest problem currently facing AI. But what exactly is latency, you may ask? It's the time it takes for information to travel on the internet. Imagine you're talking to someone on the phone and there's a two second delay after everything you say. Annoying as hell, right? Now imagine that with AI. When you use AI tools, they often need to make tons of requests to different models on the cloud. Each request takes time and if just one of those requests is slow, the whole thing crawls to a halt. It's like an AI traffic jam. This is a nightmare for real-time applications. Let's break it down with a simple example. Say there's an AI translation tool that lets you talk to anyone in any language in real time. You say something in English, it translates to Spanish for the person person on the other end and vice versa. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the catch. Every time you say something, the tool has to send a request to a cloud-based AI model to translate it. Even a tiny delay can make the conversation choppy and awkward. This latency issue is a massive bottleneck for AI. No matter how smart these AI models get, if they can't respond quickly, they're practically useless. But guess who's got a solution for this? You guessed it, Apple. Apple's secret weapon in this AI race is on-device AI, also known as Edge AI. Instead of relying on the cloud, Apple's working on running AI directly on their devices. No more waiting for your data to make a round trip to the cloud. Everything happens right there on your iPhone or Mac instantly. This means zero latency. You get instant responses because the AI is right there on your device. Samsung's already doing something similar with their latest phones, but Apple's got the edge here. They control the entire ecosystem, hardware, software, and services. They've got over 2 billion devices is out there and 61.3% of smartphones in the US are iPhones. No one else can touch that kind of reach. And it's not just about speed. On-device AI means all that fancy processing happens right on your device without needing to send your data off to some distant server. That means better privacy and security. Right now, every time you use ChatGPT or similar tools, your data gets stored on their servers. That's a huge risk. While companies like Meta and Google are often in hot water over data breaches and privacy concerns, Apple's approach keeps your data on your device safe from prying eyes. No more worrying about your embarrassing questions or sensitive information being leaked. This trust factor is invaluable and sets Apple apart from the pack. Now let's zoom out and look at the big picture. Apple's real power move is their ecosystem. Apple controls the hardware, the software, and even the silicon chips inside. This kind of vertical integration means they can optimize every little detail for AI. It's like having a perfectly synchronized dance troupe, each device knowing exactly what to do and when to do it. With over 2 billion active devices and large market share by a huge margin, Apple has a massive edge. They can roll out updates and new features across all their devices at once. Imagine having an iPhone that can perform 
complex AI tasks instantly without needing to connect to the internet. That's the dream, and Apple is making it a reality. They're not just looking to match what other companies are doing, they're aiming to surpass it. This could revolutionize how we interact with our devices. Siri might finally stop being the butt of jokes and become a truly smart assistant powered by advanced AI that understands and responds instantly. And let's not forget Apple's Vision Pro, their AR VR headset. It's another piece of the puzzle integrating AI seamlessly into more aspects of our lives. With Apple's focus on Edge AI, these devices will run large language models locally, offering unparalleled performance and privacy. In the end, Apple's strategy is all about playing the long game. They're not rushing to throw billions at AI just to make headlines. They're methodically building an ecosystem where AI works seamlessly, efficiently, and securely. It's this careful, calculated approach that will ultimately make them the winners in the AI apocalypse. I hope you like this video. I'm a new channel, and creating content like this takes a lot of time and money. All I ask in return is that you subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Your support will give me the motivation to make more videos like this. Make sure to like the video and comment your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. See ya.